Right, the question number one, everyone. An object of mass 15 kg, an object of mass 15 kg. Any numericals we solved in the last class? No, I think. Am I right, everybody? Yes, sir. Mm, sir. So we know that we have studied the two formulas. That is what kinetic energy. So kinetic energy is equals to what is the formula, everybody? Half m square. Next, we studied work energy, energy theorem. Work energy theorem that is what amount of work done to change the velocity of a body from from initial velocity, some velocity to another velocity. That is what which is equals to change in kinetic energy of a system. So, which is equals to what everybody? Final kinetic energy minus initial kinetic energy. So that is what we used to call it as say. What is the theorem we used to know it as? Everybody. Work, work energy, energy theorem. theorem. Yeah. Work energy theorem we used to call it as. Okay. So first question. All of you. An object of mass 15 kg. An object of mass 15 kg. An object of mass 15 kg is moving with a uniform velocity. An object of mass... 15 kg, an object of mass 15 kg is moving with a uniform velocity of 4 meter per second. 4 meter per second. What is the kinetic energy of the body? Okay, that's all. So, what is that, everybody? So, we all know that kinetic energy of the body, which is equal to what is the formula? All of you, half m v square. So, half into m is equals to 15. V, velocity is 4. 4 square. So, which is equals to half into 15 into 4 square means how much everybody? 16. So, 2 ones are 2 eights are. So, 15 eights are how much everyone? Yes, please. 15 eights are. How much are 15 eights are? That's it. Do it fast. So, object of mass 15 kg is moving with a velocity of 4 meter per second. 4 meter per second. Table say, don't know. Then what I can teach? 4 meter per second. 4 meter per second. Four meter per second. Sir, can you please repeat the question and answer? An object, how many times? That's what I'm saying. You write the given data is enough. Avoid that practice. Mass of 15 kg moving with the velocity of uniform velocity of 4 meter per second. This is the first question, sir. Yes. Oh, okay. What is the kinetic energy possessed by the body? Next, second question. Kinetic energy possessed by a body is Kinetic energy possessed by a body is body of mass 2 kg. Mass 2 kg is, uh, is 400 joules. Kinetic energy possessed by a body of mass 2 kg is 400 joules. Is 400 joules. Kinetic energy possessed by a body of mass 2 kg is 400 joules. Calculate the velocity of the body. Calculate the velocity of the body. Do it fast and tell me, everybody. Everybody must to try. No excuse for anyone else. That 20. Yes. So we all know that here they are giving kinetic energy they are already giving which is equals to we all know that half m v square. So now we want velocity. So I will take velocity square is equals to half will come this side it will become two times of kinetic energy. Mass is in multiplication it will become division. So which is equals to velocity into 
square will come this side will become what everybody root over so root over so that is the formula so then you can write it so root over 2 into kinetic energy is 400 divided by mass is 2 so 2 2 will get cancelled so we'll get it root over 400 so root over 400 means i'll write 20 square square and root will get cancelled what is the answer everybody 20 meter per second that's all solve it Completed? Yes, sir. Okay, Nirashi, no problem. Right, next question. What is the work done in increasing the velocity of a car? What is the work done in increasing the velocity of a car? What is the work done in increasing the velocity of a car? Increasing the velocity of a car from 30 km per hour to 60 km per hour. From 30 km per hour to 60 km per hour. If the mass of the car is 1500 kilograms, if the mass of the car is 1500 kilograms, so from 30 kilometer to kilometer, 30 per, kilometer hour. per hour to 60 kilometer per hour. Then, sir. sir, mass mass is one thousand five hundred kg. Mr. Gokul, are you solving? Yes, sir. Yeah. This prana, what is happening, idiot? Every day, like this. Wrong answer, Darshan. First thing you should understand their speed is given in what everybody? Kilometer per hour. You must uh, get into what? Meter per second. Yeah, that is very important. Everybody has to do that. So how it is you can see. So question. So given initial speed, 30 kilometer per hour means I can convert into meter per second. So, kilometer per hour to meter per second, how much we have to multiply? 5 by? 18. 5 by 18. 18. Please learn that. 1 kilometer per hour is equals to 5 by 18 meter per second. Okay. Then 2 table. What is that? You can simplify it. So, 2 nines are 2 fifteens are. So, which is equals to 15 fives are? Everybody. 15 fives are how much? Ra? 60, sir. Yeah. Ray. 15 uh, very good. 75. 75. 75 divided by 9. So let it be. Keep it like that. Okay. Next. Final velocity. Final velocity is 60 kilometer per hour. So 60 kilometer per hour means 60 into 5 by 18. So 2 9s are 2 30s are again. 
So 35 is a how much? 150. So 150 divided by 9 meter per second. And what is the mass of the object? Mass of the car? 1500 kg. 1500 kg. Mass is equals to 1500 kg. Now they are asking, you can see. So they are asking, so what is the work done? Here, yes, what is the work done in increasing the velocity? What is the work done in increasing or decreasing? Doesn't matter. So velocity changing. So that by this time, there is a concept which will come into your mind. What is the concept? Anybody? Change in velocity. What is that concept? Work energy okay. theory. Mm -hmm. Work energy theorem. So that is what work done is equals to half m v square minus half m u square. So you can solve individually or you can substitute it or directly you can move. That is what final kinetic energy minus what is that everybody? Initial kinetic, kinetic energy. So I will go with that half into mass is 1500 into velocity. Final velocity is how much everybody? Final velocity how much? 150 divided by 9. So you can go with the simplification or whatever it is, but you have to solve it. Minus half into what's a 150, sorry, 1500 into this is how much? 105 by 9 whole square. Am I right? Sorry, 105 or 75? 75. Okay, everybody, solve it now. Slowly you solve. So calculations will be like this only. So you have to solve it. So if it is a proper number, no problem. If it is not a proper number, this much problem. So two ones are two seven hundred and fifty. So half. So I'll get seven fifty. Two ones are two seven fifty. Is a. So seven fifty into one fifty whole square. One fifty whole square. How much ra? One fifty whole square. How much? Twenty two five hundred divided by nine square eighty one minus. 750 into 75 whole square. 75 whole square, how much? 5625 divided by 9 square means 81. So that is what it is. So all of you do it, everybody. So anything doubt, you can ask me. We'll finish it. Make it quick. So what is the answer will come? Very big answers only will come. You have to do it. So first, 750 into 20, 22,500 divided by 81 will come 277.7 minus 750 into 5625 calculations exam also will be like this only you have to solve into divided by 81 if you solve 69.444 will come so do it everybody first 750 into 277.7, which is equals to, you'll get approximately 208275, 208275 minus 750 into 69.44, you will get it approximately 52080. Okay, so do the subtraction, everybody, you will get the answer 208. 275 minus 5208, you'll get the answer 156195. What is the units of energy work done? Everybody? What is the units of work done, guys? Joules. Joules. That's all the answer. So 156195 will come. And this one, you can write it in another form. So I'll put the decimal three digits before. So what is the answer will come? One, 156.195. So three digits before I'm putting the decimal means it is equals to 10 power 3. Am I right? Huh? Respond everybody. So 10 power 3 joules. 10 power 3 means I can write as a kilo. So kilo means 10 power 3. So I'll write this answer 156.195 kilo joules. This is the answer. Need patience. Exam also calculations will be like this. So 100% you have to solve. There is no way. All of so you why do you need this in kilojoules, sir? 
because basically in exam final answer they will give if suppose if it is mcq they will give in kilo joules only mari so that's why you have to do it okay yes sir yeah my anybody having any doubt you can ask me or else we'll proceed further agar you understand shivani yes sir hmm. always remember mr darshan don't be in a hurry tambi what you are, what you solved you see the comparison simply was saying 450 you never bother about the speed units and all always units is very important you should remember always you have to calculate keep it in mind everybody whatever the units what is joule joule is equals to what kilogram meter square per second square so all the units must be meter and second only and what is newton newton is equals to kilogram meter per second square whatever the units you must bring it into this system are you clear mr darshan what i am saying that you keep it in mind simply you cannot solve okay late alfin and abirami already three questions were completed make it quick everyone anything doubt you can ask me you understand all of you yes please clear ma everybody next question next question you try then i will proceed this question completed ah any doubt anybody can ask me understand or not hello few indra ah nobody is there in a meeting completed yes, or not yes sir yeah So next question. I'll give two questions. So I'll try to answer it. Question number next question. Right. If the if the mass of a body is tripled, Kishore doing a triple, keeping keeping its velocity constant, keeping its velocity constant. Mr. Silas. after many days joining uh, what will happen what will happen to its kinetic energy this is the one question like gravitation many questions we have solved similar to this just changing next question if the velocity of the body both you try and i'll teach you if the velocity of the body is tripled keeping its mass constant keeping its mass constant what will happen what will happen to its kinetic energy so this is the question both the questions you try just 2 minutes time we'll continue formula first question they are saying that mass of the body is tripled means mass is increases three times keeping its velocity remains constant so velocity is not changes anything so what will happen everybody so what is the first kinetic energy formula here i will teach you some tricks also so what is the kinetic energy formula oh, kinetic energy is equals to half m v square so let me take this is a equation number 1 okay now they are saying that if the mass of the body is tripled what do you mean by tripled everybody mass become tripled means increases three times so then what is the new kinetic energy they are asking so what is the new kinetic energy so let me take ek dash ek dash is equals to half into instead of m instead of m what it will become everybody 3m yeah. velocity remains same over then you can notice it so i'll put this 3 outside and i will write remaining everything same half m v square half m v square so half m v square is equals to something what is that everybody kinetic. initial kinetic energy so final kinetic energy equals to 3 times of initial kinetic energy that's all clear everybody so means 
the kinetic energy if mass become triple okay then kinetic energy you cannot say the statements here you have to do the mathematically you have to prove it clear everybody mathematically how to do it i hope you all understanding so mathematically you we need to solve like this do it make it quick so in the second question alone i'm having doubts sir yeah i will explain they have said that it's velocity sir yeah. velocity is v square sir so do listen, we need to listen listen three? listen now second one so mass remains constant but velocity becomes so again same initial kinetic energy equals to half m v square let me take equation number 1 now velocity become triple three times of initial velocity so you have to be careful so now what is the final next kinetic energy change in kinetic energy equals to half into m into instead of velocity v become 3v so i will write 3v whole square be very careful not 3v square it is 3v whole square now half into m into 3v whole square means what ab whole square means i'll write a square into b square so same way here what will happen 3 square into v square, into v square okay. which is equals to 3 square means how much guys 9 9 i will write first remaining i will write inside half into m into v square so half into m into v square something everybody initially yes. initial kinetic energy so the final kinetic energy is equals to 9 times of initial kinetic energy that is what you have to remember so this is what is the answer okay guys everybody clear yes please yes. yeah please make it ఎవరిబడి right if the mass of the body if the mass of a body becomes n times write it all of you if if the mass of a body becomes n times n times means it may be one time or two times or three times do you all understand everybody yes sir yeah if the mass of the body becomes n times n times of its original mass of its original mass keeping velocity constant keeping velocity constant then then its kinetic energy then its kinetic energy also also becomes also becomes n times of its original kinetic energy n times of its original kinetic energy Do you all understand everybody? Everyone? So that is what you have to remember. If mass of the body, that is what final mass is, n times of initial mass. Note it everyone. n times of initial mass. Then final kinetic energy is also n times of 
initial kinetic energy. That is what you have to remember. Okay, guys. Understand? All of you? Yes, please. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yeah. Next, very important point. Mr. Pradvi, doing? Pranav, yes, sir. 6 40 not our class, 6 o'clock class. Next. If the velocity of a body becomes n times, next point, this is what, what we studied now. If, if the velocity of a body becomes n times, becomes n times of its original, original velocity, velocity keeping mass constant keeping mass constant keeping the mass constant then its kinetic energy then its Kinetic energy becomes becomes n square times n square times of its original kinetic energy. Are you all clear, everybody? Original kinetic energy. Understand? Ya? All of you? Sir, I can't understand. If velocity increases n times, then the kinetic energy changes n square times. Suppose velocity becomes two times, then kinetic energy changes two square. Two square means four times. Four times of initial kinetic energy. That's all. Do you understand? Yes, sir. Yeah. Understand? Uh? I got it. Sure. What girl? If the kinetic energy now here, what happened? Kinetic velocity increases. Velocity increases three times. Now what is the kinetic energy? Three square. Three square means nine times. In nine times of initial velocity, initial kinetic energy. That's all. Oh, not. Not only girl. That's what I'm saying. Here three times I'm taking. Three times means kinetic energy changes to nine times. Here also same. N times it is increasing. So n times means n square times kinetic energy changes. So, if the velocity increases n times of V, then kinetic energy changes, final kinetic energy, this is final velocity of n times of initial velocity, then final, ve final kinetic energy changes to n square times of initial kinetic energy. That's all. Nothing else is there. Okay, sir. That's what I am saying you. Are you clear, everybody? All of you? Yes, sir. Yeah. So you can take any value. For example, I say final velocity is, example, is four times of initial velocity increases. Then final kinetic energy, what will happen everybody? Final kinetic energy is four times four square means 
4 square times of initial kinetic energy. So, means in the sense of how many times? Everyone. Ah? 16 times. Clear, everybody? Yes, please. Yes, sir. Yeah. Do it. Understand everybody? Clear? Understood, Amma? Next slide. Are you clear, Amma? Yes, sir. Hmm. Right. Question is, next question. If the this is a very toughest question, let me uh, let me teach you right this is self. So write the question. If the velocity of the body is decreased by, if the velocity, if the velocity of the body is decreased, decreased by five times, five times of initial velocity. I did not even necessary to say initial velocity keeping mass constant keeping mass constant calculate new kinetic energy or change in kinetic energy 1 by 5 sir no wrong answer sir no sir we need to make the 5 as 1 by 5 sir to, yes, decrease it means that is what is the meaning. You understand? Yes. Yeah. So, what is the initial kinetic energy? We will take it as well. EK is equal to half m v square. So, let me take this is equation number one. Now, velocity changes what? Decreases. Decreases means what? 1 by 5. So, means it is decreasing 5 times. So, 5 1 by 5 times of initial velocity so what is the new kinetic energy they are asking final kinetic energy so let me take this is initial kinetic energy so which is equals to half into m into v become what v by 5 v by 5 whole square clear so which is equals to half into m into v by 5 whole square means what v square by 5 square 5 square means how much everybody 25, 25. So, the 25 will come, 1 by 25 will come up. So, 1 by 2 into m into v square. So, which is equals to, how much it will become? Initial kinetic energy. So, which is equals to, sorry, 1 by 25. So, that is the final kinetic energy. So, final kinetic energy.